Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. I bring you greetings, greetings of the delight of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, indeed, He takes delight in us. He died on the cross to demonstrate that. Our sins are forgiven. We are restored to God and to Him. Let us rejoice. We have been meditating about how to be a Christian. What does it mean to live in Christ and for Christ? Today, I invite you to meditate on John chapter 16, verse 20. Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Let me read that to you. <clears throat> I tell you the truth. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will turn into joy. That is the assurance Jesus gives us. In this world, we will have trouble, tribulation, tragedies, problems, all sorts of hardships. But Jesus says, your grief will turn into joy. And that joy, no one will take it away from us. One of the most wonderful things we Christians have is that we are never alone. When we go through grief, pain, rejection, tragedies, Jesus is with us. He will never give up on us. What a consoling, consoling and affirming reality. So whenever we hurt physically, mentally, spiritually, let's turn to Jesus and ask him to help us and his help will be with us. His help will turn our grief into joy, joy that will last. Sisters and brothers, not only that we practice that, but also we encourage other Christians to practice that. When we hear about someone going through grief because the death of a loved one, or because of a certain diagnosis of cancer or some other incurable illness or certain tragedies like car accident or, or flood or fire or various tragedies like that. We and our people, fellow Christians, go through grief and we need to affirm that that grief will not last. It will be turned into joy. So Jesus has promised that. He is with us to make sure that happens. Oh, sisters and brothers, whenever we go through grief, whenever our fellow Christians go through grief, let us remember that they or we are never alone. Jesus went through grief. Remember his agony in the garden. Luke reported that his grief was that intense. His blood, his sweat was like blood drops falling from his body. That intense pain. None of us have to go through that kind of intense pain. Whatever may be the pain we go through, the grief we go through, let us celebrate the presence of Jesus. We are never alone. We are yoked with Jesus Christ. He is the one who is holding us and carrying us on his shoulders when we cannot go on by ourselves. Let us rejoice that he is always with us and he will turn our grief into joy. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you for giving us the gift of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, how can we thank you enough for growing, going through the horrible pain in the garden, in the crucifixion. And your pain, your death was turned into resurrection. Oh Lord, enable us to know and believe that you are always with us in our grief, in our pain, in our hurt. You would never leave us. You will carry us forward. 
Yes, Lord, enable us to believe the truth. Our grief will not last. Our grief will turn into joy, joy that will last forever. O Holy Spirit, continue to give us the conviction of this truth. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.